Today we are working on making image maps. Image maps are using a picture and then you click on an area of the picture. Uh, for example, if this was me, I'd click on just me and then it would go to a link. Um, maybe more information about myself. So what we're going to do with our hobbies uh, page is we have our inspire link and for this page we're going to insert a wordle and with different words and links to the different uh, words. So um, you're going to go to wordle.net uh, and in wordle.net you're going to uh, hit create your own and you're going to put um, some names so if you're uh, um, your favorite hobby is playing basketball and you're saying who inspires you okay uh, so Young Jun, who did you put for inspires you as basketball Kobe okay so we can put Kobe Bryant and then who else do we put Alan huh me uh, Bolt Alan Iverson okay Bolt. Bolt. and then he's not a basketball player, oh, he's just a basketball player. And what you'll want to do is if you like Kobe the best, you want to put more of Kobe. And make sure there's not a space in between each of the uh, names, of like the first and last name. Okay? We've got Alan Iverson, we've got Kobe Bryant. Uh, and we'll put Shaq. And we'll put him twice. Or once. Uh, I also want you to put uh, H five times. And then when you're finished, you hit go. And then it'll make you a Wordle. Now, with your Wordle, you want to make sure uh, that the text is easily seen. And all the text is either horizontal or vertical for what we're using the, this as an image map for. Uh, so, yeah, this could work. So, I'm going to use this. Command Shift 4 on a Mac uh, to take a print screen of this. And boom, done. So what you're going to do is go into your folder. Um, so this is my uh, HTML folder. And here's all my different um, links. Now I have an images folder. And I'm going to put my Wordle inside that. Now for me, I focus mine on photography. So I already um, made one prior that I'll put into my images. And that's my Wordle right here. And these are photographers that have taught me or that I've known um, that have inspired me in the area of photography. So now that we have our image ready, we can go into our code okay, and start typing up our code. So remember, uh, Shift-Command-T to make it a non-text rich, rich um, editor. okay, And then we're going to start our code. So let's go HTML. And our head, and then our title. Remember, this is Inspire. And you guys should already have, we already created this page before, but I'm just doing this so we can get ready. So, all right, so our body. So we're going to put in our image. Image, IMG, SRC for image source, equals, and then it's wordle.net, or sorry, wordle.png. And where is that located? It's located in our images folder, so I need to add that. And then I'm going to close that bracket and make sure that works. Okay, so I'm going to hit um, save it, command S. I'm going to call this inspire.html and save it there. Use HTML, yes. Okay. So now I go to here, command R to refresh, and there's my image. Now we're going to center it. So let's go back to our text editor and I'm going to do P align equals center. And you're going to put in the text, um, an H2 text, and align equals center. And we're going to put in the text um, photographers who have inspired me. And then I'm going to close my H2 and save that. Go here, refresh, and there is our text. 
for those who have inspired me. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm going to close my P. And the image disappeared because my quotation went down. So there we go. Okay. So uh, image source equals, there's my image space, and I'm going to use width 1,000, height 500. And I'm going to save that. And if you, we go back to Command R, refresh, notice it's stretched a little bit more. I can get exactly the size that I want for my image. Now I'm going to use Illustrator to show you how to best understand how image maps work. Uh, first of all, uh, in math we have like an x and y coordinates, so I'm going to draw my x and my y. Um, and I, I think of it as putting the picture in the first coordinate. So I'm going to go ahead and paste my image right in the first coordinate. And then what I'm going to do is um, our dimensions for our image is, was it 1000? Okay, on the horizontal axis, and for the um, vertical, it was 500. So that's our x and our y. So, um, in terms of the direction that it counts, okay, this is for the x. This is zero. Sorry, for the x. Let me get some brown. So I'm going to use blue for this one. And I'm going to use uh, purple or green for this one. So for my X, okay, uh, this is at zero for um, my X. Now this is the maximum, 1,000. So right about here is about 500, and here is about 250 and 750. This is zero, and this is 500 right here. So right about here would be 250. So we need to figure out what are our dimensions for this area um, right in here for Michael Gilbert. Like we need to get this rectangle right there. So to get that rectangle, uh, we need four numbers. One, let me use a darker color. So we use one, two, three, and the four. And the first number is our start x, and then our end x is actually right here. This is where it ends. And this is our start y, and this is our end y. Okay? So let's start with our x. Uh, to get our x, um, it's right here, right about at the zero, maybe a little bit um, more than zero, but we're not going to be too picky, so it's going to be right there. Now we're going to come all the way across here and get our X, and right about here, that's about 850, 870. Let's just put 870, okay, 870. Now we need our Y. For our Y axis, we're going to start here from zero, and we're going to count down. And right about here, maybe 190. So I'm going to put 190. And then for my Y, my second Y, right about here, let's go 300. Okay. So, uh, so what I'm going to do is go into my code and plug those numbers in to my code. So I'm going to go to my text edit and right here area shape rec chords and we'll put 0 190 80 300 and save it and then should be good